in this lesson uh, we are going to work on responsiveness okay so bootstrap is very famous for for this so it's worth um, a lesson if you notice here you see that our profile ends uh, before the rest of the document so profile ends there so that's because it's column MD3 so what we want to do is say when we are viewing this on uh, a small device like a tablet we want the width to be 12 and extra small device like mobile phones we want it to be 12 so if we reset so this is mobile device this is tablet device so we can see it's resized it exactly to 12 for us which is what we want and now we have um, our profile okay which which um, we need to float so I'm going to change things around a little bit here so I'm going to add profile image um, class which we are going to use and also I'm going to make another class here so we'll call this uh, this class will be uh, profile content okay so we're going to wrap um, our profile like this okay so indent everything in like that all right so we are also going to have another uh, a new class here which will be social icons so social icons again will wrap um, all our social icons like this so indent this in so the idea is we have a way of floating all these different elements okay so these three elements we need to float them at different points so if you're viewing them on a tablet it needs to be different so another thing I want to do now is um, clear our float using bootstraps clear fix so we'll wrap this around our three um, elements that we are going to float so, so this will clear the float for us okay so now uh, now that we've done this it, we haven't affected anything so far so we are going to say when we're viewing this on small device um, tablets we want uh, this to float to be on the right side of our image okay and when we go back to medium size it goes back to normal so to do that the, there's a way of using a bootstrap by saying um, at media so think of this as your screen so if your screen has a is a maximum width of 992 okay so we want to do a few things target a few classes so so if the maximum width basically is 992 that means we're viewing um, we're viewing this page on a tablet for example okay okay so in when we're viewing this on the tablet we want to float our profile image left and float our profile content left uh, the social icon um, we don't want to float it left actually so we'll just uh, get rid of this but we'll leave it um, we are going to use it at some point so let's see what happens let's reduce our width to a tablet size maximum 992 we notice that we have floated this element um, left which is what we want to do so we have this horizontal rule which is just off place we want to get rid of it so what we could do is use uh, bootstraps um, hidden um, class so we'll make a new class and we we'll say hidden um, extra small and hidden for um, small for tablets so it will hide it when we're viewing this um, on tablets and also hide it when we're viewing it on mobile device okay so let's um, target and um, make some space basically between our profile image so we say margin right so push everything to the right uh, by 15 pixels so uh, our profile content so if we, if we do that we'll have that space there which is exactly what we need right so I want to target a different screen size so I say media if the minimum uh, width is uh, 485 so this is just above mobile device and the maximum width 
is uh, 992. So we are targeting just uh, tablets here. Okay. So we say uh, social icon uh, float right. So this is where we're floating our social icon to the right. So it's, it looks normal here. It hasn't floated here. But when we increase it to a tablet, you'll notice our social icon has floated to the right. A normal size, nothing happens. So that's exactly what we've done there using and. So uh, our social icon, when we're viewing it, um, otherwise we want to say margin left is 115 pixels. So if we reduce this to mobile device, you'll notice that the social icon has lined up properly. If I comment this out so you see what it looks like before, reset this page, you see the social icon goes all the way to the left, it's not floating right. If I get rid of it, you will see the margin left is down there. So, so that's what we want to do. It looks much neater that way. And also for our profile content, I want to push everything below by 10 pixels. Uh, reset, you see the spacing has been um, added there. So on tablets, um, we want to um, add a, a horizontal rule. Okay, so tablet and mobile device, we want to add a horizontal rule. So what I want to do is copy this uh, just above the end uh, for our side. Uh, we're going to paste it there, uh, get rid of this. So this horizontal rule, we want it hidden only when we're viewing it on a medium size and large screen. So it shows up here, okay? And uh, if we stretch it, it goes away. If we go down, it shows again. And if we go to mobile, it shows up. So we have a horizontal rule that shows up just for mobiles and tablets. So it's, it's, it's a very good and handy um, hidden class provided by Bootstrap. Okay, so we've, um, we've used Bootstrap's uh, responsive side to learn a few things about it, uh, which is great. And we've used it to add to the visual aspect of our projects at different stages. So um, this is where we'll stop um, in this in this lesson and the uh, other thing you now need to do is copy what we've done everything that we've done here and paste it um, into the other pages um, about us archive etc and so on well except um, login in page um, this ends uh, this project on bootstrap in the next project we'll um, create uh, an admin area using bootstrap which is quite different so looking forward to that and I'll see you in the next project. So see you there.